So, welcome to today's lesson. So, today we are going to talk about discrete mass. Um, and we'll be talking about the finite difference equations. And we'll try to verify some two um, employee difference operators on certain things. All right. So, um, you know, this question I are going to try to solve is on the forward difference operator. And something small about it. So with this whole difference operator, for instance, it is given by this particular operator here. So when you have the four difference operator on y, it's given us y plus one. So we add plus one to it, then minus the y itself. I hope you get it. All right. So we have backward and you have the central difference in areas, but we are going to talk about the four difference. So with a four different, this is what it means. So, for instance, when you are the yi position, you know, when you go to your right hand side, you have the yi plus one. So, when you take a step of one, when you come here, this is a step of minus one. So, the backward difference ends us here. But the four difference, when you want to find the four difference of, let's say, this point yi, it's just giving us the four difference of yi is equal to. So the one step that you took here, that's y i plus one, then minus the point itself. So that's the reason why you can see here. So this is what the Fourier difference operator is. So with this small knowledge, then now let's try to solve these two questions. So we are trying to verify these two things, right? So I know that um because of you in mathematics, actual science and statistics, you might have seen a negative sign here, but um there is, this is supposed to be positive, okay? It's supposed to be positive, right? So, when you have this, this is how to verify it, okay? We are going to learn how to verify it. The first one and the second one. And mostly, you have to understand two things. For instance, when it comes to the second question, some basic rules in logarithm and that's of the factorial. So let's try to solve the first one. That's quite simple. So, we have this here. But note that the Fourier difference on n is n plus 1 minus n. Just know that we just discussed that one earlier on. So that means that the Fourier difference of n plus 1 all squared will be n plus 1. You know, we always had 1 here, so plus 1 squared, then minus that itself, so n plus 1 squared. So 1 plus 1 is 2, so this is n plus 2 squared, then minus n plus 1 squared. So when you try to expand this, right? This will give you n squared plus 4n plus 4. And this gives you n squared plus 2n plus 1. So, when you do this, you know, this will be minus n squared minus 2n, then minus 1. I hope you can see that. So, you realize that n squared minus n squared goes away. Then 4n minus 2n gives us 2n. And 4 minus 1 gives us 3. So this is how to verify the first one. Right? So we will try to verify the second one soon. And so before we do that, please um don't just watch the video, like it if it helps you, and please subscribe to the channel. We'll try and do more of these things with you so that you won't miss out. It's going to help you in your studies. Alright, so with the second question, we have this thing here, right? So you are supposed to verify that this will give you this. So as I said, with this one, you have to understand some basic rules in um, the factorial and the logarithm before you be able to do it. So know that this here just stands for the natural logarithm, so the ln, and it follows the same rules as our logarithm, right? So from the four difference operator, we know that this here is the same as you just add one here. Then we have that point itself, so we have this. So when you have this, then from the loss of logarithm, we call that log e minus log b. You know here, they are in base 10, they have the same base. So this is the same as log e over b. I hope you can recall that. So here too, this is the same as ln n plus 1 factorial over ln n factorial all squared. I hope you get it. So we use this basic property of logarithm to do it. Alright, so when you are done, then let's try to also talk about our factorial. So note that 5 factorial is the same as 4, sorry, so 
is the same as 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which is the same as 5 times 4 factorial. I hope I'm right. right. So that means when you have n factorial, it's the same as n times n minus 1 factorial. So when you have n plus 1 factorial, it will be n plus 1 n times n plus 1 minus 1, so n factorial. I hope you get it. So that means that here our n plus 1 factorial is the same as n plus 1 times n factorial. So we come here and we make that substitution. So we have length of n plus 1 n factorial instead of the length, instead of the n plus 1 factorial, we've been able to um, get this out of it. And it holds, it's the same thing, right? So you realize that here, this n factorial here and this n factorial here can cancel out, right? When it cancel out, we just have what? n plus 1 squared. Alright, so that's what we have here. Alright, so thank you very much. And as I said, we'll try our best and see if we can get you the solution to some or the rest of the questions. So don't forget to subscribe and Please like the video if it helps you. I'm Buido Kanrino, a 3 student of mathematics. Thank you.